Welcome back to Providence Oaks. It is Friday morning. We are going to begin our maybe last day of work. I don't know. We're going to deliver all this mail as fast as we can. Shut up, Jack. The floor is yours. Yeah, Jack, I've got a pet peeve. Why do people start fake coughing when I'm smoking in my store? Nah. <laughs> just leave. Nancy, you're a piece of work. You know what? Let's go talk to Nancy first thing in the morning. We gotta go drop off that fucking camera. People have other places to go besides the smokehouse that you call a general store. On to the weather forecast. Sunny in the first half of the day and some clouds in the second. Nice. Back to the playlist. All right, where is the general store? I forget. There it is. Let's go give this bitch back her camera. Oh, hello. How's the photography coming along? Okay, I guess. I've been using the camera for a bit. If you can take pictures for me like you said you would, I can get this practice in. I took the pictures. I'll get it done. Don't worry. Okay. Please take some pictures and return it today. I already did. How else does she want me to do? Ah, eh, whatever. I'll deliver the mail quickly today just to get this story moving along and finish this game. Got another package around the corner, it looks like. One package, one letter. Yeah, right about here. 402 Pine. Oh, 402 Pine. It's Kay's house. I haven't seen Kay in a while. Hello? Friday delivery day. Well, just call me Friday delivery Kay. Okay, no, that sounded better in my head. Someone's in a good mood today. Yes, thanks for looking after Max and Gracie last night. You were a real trooper for stepping in last minute. It was... Uh, an interesting evening. Funny. Grace said the exact same thing. <laughs> so... How was the concert? <laughs> oh, yeah. Man, Journey is so good. Those songs have been stuck in my head all day. And that's a good thing? It's a very you know, good thing. Right? There's just so much cool stuff being created right now, you know? I mean, Journey was cool. I got to know them through Barry at first, but I tell you... If Prince or New Order ever came to Portland, I would sell my spleen for tickets. One spleen, two bands. That's quite the potential dilemma. Oh, and I haven't even mentioned Cindy Lauper, or Run DMC, or Stevie Wonder. And before you go there, I know you're probably setting up a joke about spleens and ham and organs right now. Oh yeah, there's a lot of good material out there for that. I would never. All jokes aside, though, I spent half the concert thinking about how I haven't really focused on my own music for a while now. Kids, work, all that stuff. 
So much going on. And I mean, I love tinkering, but right now, I'm not sure I'm even creating anything cool or just... You know, not even Barry is allowed to listen to my songs at this stage, to be honest. Maybe you're just not ready yet. Exactly. Or maybe you just suck. I'm not sure if that's where I'm at right now. I was thinking, I have a mixtape with some of my stuff, you know? Just something I've been trying out with my new synthesizer. And you want me to listen to it, maybe? And hey, don't tell me what you think yet, yeah? You'll be my secret special audience of one. So I can get used to the idea of an audience. Would this have anything to do with Sunday evening? Okay, don't tell anyone, but I'm thinking of performing a song on my new synth this Sunday. Holy crap, I just said that out loud. Dude, you are coming to the open mic, right? Oh yeah, I'll be there. Not sure yet, although Maureen will probably come get me if I don't. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll see you around then. Sure thing. All right, Have a great day. Thanks, you too. Well, did you take the mixtape? Can I throw it in the trash? I don't want it. I'm not gonna listen to that garbage. I don't take unsolicited mixtapes. Oh, the Winnebago's moved. She must be working on it. Nice. Is this the shortcut? Oh yeah. There's the bridge. We got this. We're gonna go see the lumberjack today. What was his name? Robert, I think. Where is this freak? Meredith. Hey, Robert. Hey, Robert. How are you? I was away for a few days on an urgent job out of state. Well, I'm not a lesbian anymore, so I'm available. Ah, okay. Here's the mail. Thanks. Hmm, priority mail from Town Hall. Let's see what they have to say this time. Dear Mr. Harris, on behalf of yada yada yada, concerning Environmental Management Act 1213, yada yada yada. Uh, wait. What? <laughs> Listen to this. We have decided to postpone the construction of apartments for at least six months. We hope this satisfies you as well as the many residents of Providence Oaks that contacted us with their unfiltered and enthusiastic... And you won the battle, it but worked. you might still lose the, the war. Worked. Wow, great! So happy for you, Robert. We need to celebrate this. Ooh. How about tomorrow night? Steak dinner at Moe's. Or something else. On me. You want to eat a steak on him? Oh. Sure, we, we let's go for it. Ah, oh, I'd love that. Great. It's gonna be fun. See you tomorrow night then. Gotta go now. The telephone troops need to know the assault can be abandoned. Well, now that Angie's gone, we have to uh go after the lumberjack, I guess. What's a girl to do? In a small town. Ah, we're going into the uh, little wooded cabin area. Whoops. Hmm. 
These look like bills. Well, it looks like we're heading over to the bait shop. Alright, we have not talked to Old Man River in a while. Let's go see what he's got to say. We got a package for him. Oh, let's go push him in. Hey, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? I just walk behind you? Hey. I'm just gonna walk behind you. Hey, what's up? What's up? This is really creepy. <laughs> hey, how long can I follow you around? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? <laughs> hey. Hey, what's up, buddy? Can I go fishing with you? Hello? Ah, the waxworms have arrived. Oh, well, thank God. Ew. Have I been walking around with worms? Waxworms. <laughs> you sure have. They're just in time. I'm taking a boat to the island this afternoon. Oh, nice. A boat trip. Hey, you can tag along if you want, like your father used to. But I'm not helping you with any wax worms. Hey, kid. Oh, really? Sounds like fun. Okay, we'll show up here at 4 p.m. sharp. Well, her calendar is filling up quickly now. Get the hell out of here. You know what? Let's take a picture for that bitch really quick. Let's take a picture of this guy. Beautiful shot. Action shot. All right, we got a few more pictures to take and then we'll uh, go drop this camera off and get that over with. Okay, let's be artistic. Last one. Oh, there we go. Alright, let's dump off this stupid friggin' camera now. Hopefully this will get her off my damn back. I'm tired of her shit. How's the photography coming along? My photography quest has been completed. Here's your equipment back. Okay, then. Let me see if I can manage to develop them. Come back tomorrow for the results. 
I don't want the results. I don't really give a shit. They're your pictures. <laughs> Bye, Nancy. What a beautiful day on the water. So, is this a quiet day or does it always take this long? That's what she said. <laughs> Fishing requires patience. We've only been here for two hours. And that's the nice thing about fishing. Yeah, there's a fine line between boredom and relaxation. I think I forgot how boredom feels. Fishing also requires silence. Yeah, shut up. Bert, can I ask you a question? If you must. Do you like Maureen? We ought to be heading back home. It's been a fine day, and I thank you for the company. Well, that was odd. You trying to play matchmaker? I don't know. Friday afternoon. Who's calling? Who's it going to be? Kay's tape. Oh, nobody's calling. Let's have a listen. We're going to listen to the tape. With her mafia parents on the wall. I love those photos. Yo, Vinny, give me a pizza. What the hell kind of music is this? Driving along the highway, headlights light up the sun. Oh, this is a fucking hit. Thinking of what you might have been. Radio keeps track of time. Oh, thank God a phone call interrupted that. I, I couldn't take it. Hello? Hi, Meredith. Guess what I signed today? I forgot all about this guy. I haven't heard him in a long The contracts for the added 87 deal? Oh, yes. You are now talking to Steve Mitchell, CEO of a multi-million dollar enterprise. But before I continue my insufferable bragging, I have a thing or two to say to you about you. You've been a huge part of the success of this company. But I'm going to have to let you I go. I feel this is just the beginning. We're entering the golden age of personal computers, and we've got front row tickets. The past two weeks have made me realize that I couldn't have done it without you. And I'm going to need you even more in the coming years. So here's a new monster deal I want you to think about. Become a partner in the company for 20% of the shares and a significant pay raise. Sig Kent. The only condition is that I need your commitment for the next five years. So, there it is. Think about it, and let's talk about it more when you're back in the office. Oh, wow, Steve. That sounds great. Just let it sink in a bit. I don't need an answer right now. I have to get back to my uh, million-dollar lifestyle. Actually, no, I, I need to get cranking on lots of stuff. Talk soon, Meredith. Yeah, we got to get out of this town. I'm, I'm taking up Steve's offer. Why am I at this fucking lady's house? Aunt Meredith's going to keep you company tonight. Was I supposed to do that at some point in time? I don't remember this. Ow. Why am I there? I don't remember that. Saturday morning. Am I leaving town yet? Am I getting out of this godforsaken place? From Angie. Oh, it ain't Miss over Meredith. yet. I am so, so sorry I haven't been able to see you. It's just that I've been swamped organizing my not so timely exit from Providence Oaks. I'm Ooh. sure you understand. Is she still there? You've probably seen the foreclosure notice. That certainly helped expedite my decision to leave. Anyway, I'll be honest. I'm still thinking about that kiss we shared in the car. 
and I don't usually dwell on these kind of things. So, feel special, Meredith. I hear you're going to the open mic night on Sunday. I wasn't planning on going, but I want to see you before I leave. I'm really anxious to find out what you've decided to do. Whether you're going to stay in this town or go back to the city or do something else entirely. And I'm going wherever forward, you go, Angie. As you know I always am. I'd like to know if little old me figures into those plans somehow. So anyway, I'll see you there, yeah? Love, Angie. Nice. It ain't over yet. Happy Saturday, everyone. It's time once again for a... Shut up, Jack. I'm tired of these damn pet peeves. Nobody cares. Is from Cheryl. Hi, Jack. I went for a walk the other day and suddenly... I'm just going on with my life. I ain't listening to this bullshit. That's lighter than I thought. Oh. It's another carton of cigarettes. Hey, Nance. I managed to get the machine to work. Here are the pictures. Yep, I took that. And that. That. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. They came out excellent. Thank you. I'm happy with how they turned out. If you'd have picked them up earlier this week, you could have participated in a photography contest. Oh, damn. Really? Oh, I would have loved that. Well, you can probably only win contests like those if you're professional. Hey, I'm pro. Yeah, good equipment is expensive. Yeah, you probably need an extra mail route to be able to afford it. <laughs> what a bitch. Alright. I'm out of this fucking shithole. So if this is Saturday, I forgot if this is open mic night or not, but uh, I guess tomorrow's our last day in this town. We'll be out of here in no time, carrying on with our lives. Oh, well, looks like we're going to the motel. I wonder if this idiot's ever going to say something interesting. Oh, who's that? There was somebody in the woods just standing there. I'm gonna have to check that out. Busy. This guy is such an ass. Aren't we all? No! Damn it! I almost had it. I almost fucking had it. Thanks for breaking my concentration. <laughs> oh, take it easy. It's just a game. <sighs> Video games are supposed to be fun. I feel horrible. Absolutely horrible. I feel horrible too playing this game. <laughs> I know the feeling. You know what? I can beat this damn game, and I'm not quitting until I have. Good luck with that. All right, I gotta go see who was in the woods over here. There was some creepy person just standing in the woods. Where are they? Huh. Maybe that was just a glitch. I don't know who that was. Maybe it was fucking Sasquatch. Was there a Sasquatch in here? I know I saw somebody. I'm not crazy. There was somebody standing here. Uh-oh. I don't know.
And it looks like our last one is over at Reynolds fucking farm or ranch or Jack or whoever the fuck that guy is. Go tear up his fucking wheat field again. That's what we're gonna do. Oops. Providenceokians, it's time once again for the sent in letters and announcements. This one's from our very own Maureen, or Mo, as we all know. Mo! Hey, folks, just wanted to grab your ears for a second to let you know all about the upcoming open mic night over at Mo's Diner this Sunday. That's right. Claim your 15 minutes of fame, enjoy some well performances, and the usual good food and drinks for everyone. I expect to see all of y'all for a great evening and maybe even some dancing. You know who you are. Come join the show at Moe's at 8 p.m. this Sunday. I'll come get you if you don't. Well, you heard her, folks, and I'll be there too, so you better not miss it. Back to the music and to one of my favorite songs. Mail Carrier Meredith. Farmer DJ Jack. Seen any ghost drivers on the way here? Ghost drivers? Ghost drivers? Yeah, you know, people driving on the wrong side of the road. Oh, yeah, like me. Haven't seen them. Okay, I was just wondering. Don't bother. I need to get back to the live show. See you tomorrow, I reckon. Bye now. I reckon. I reckon. Oh, and please close the door. Don't want to broadcast any mail truck noise. Thank you much. Whatever you say, Jack. Well, I guess tonight is my date with uh, Lumberjack Bob. Uh oh. Nope. Not gonna happen. Coming in hot. Hey, Frank. And so ends a week full of turmoil. Are you happy it's over? If only the Angels hadn't lost to the White Sox. That would have made it perfect. How much would you have won? Eight hundred seventy-six dollars and thirty-four cents. You've been a nice payday, huh? They're playing each other again tonight. Should I change the bet? Yeah, that sounds logical. Okay, let's see what happens. Maybe you're my lucky charm. Degenerate gambler, Frank. Have a great weekend, Meredith. Oh wait, this was your last day. Yes, it was. I got to tell you. They still haven't found someone else. For I'm sure. not staying here. Yes, you can have it. No. Thanks, Frank, but no. I got to sure. chase my That's dreams. You know what? Think about it and let me know Monday morning when you return your stuff. You gotta run now. Red Sox are playing the Yankees. Saturday evening. I guess we're getting ready for our date. Is this going to be Lumberjack Bob? Or Bill, I forgot his name. Hello. Hi, Mary. Oh, it's Dad. It's your dad again. How was your time in the mail delivery business? Lousy. Oh, hi, Dad. Well, it was okay. A nice change of scenery. Great, but not something you do for the rest. No, of the definitely not. I'm afraid that would be a bit too monotonous for me. Yeah, I understand. You probably need something a bit more challenging. Yes. So, oh, hold on, Meredith. Well, let me guess. Mom wants to talk to me? And she's Hi, probably Meredith. drunk Sorry again. Sorry to butt in, but you're thinking about staying in Providence Oak? No, 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 Hi, no, Mom? no. No, no, no. I'm not sure, to be honest. 
What are you not sure about, dear? Are other people involved? Yes, you know, there's Angie. Interesting, interesting ones, perhaps? Yeah. Well, there are some interesting developments, yes. Oh, there are. But are they really interesting enough to give up your entire career? I really think you need to think long and hard on it. Oh, hold on. I have a suspicion Dad wants to talk to me. Meredith, I just wanted to say, you need to clean the lint filter on the dryer every once in a while. If you never do that, it could burn the house down. <laughs> Dad, do you care more about the dryer than my plans for the future? I think so. Sorry, Meredith. I you can't burn the house down. Things like that in the middle of the night. And it's not about the dryer, of course. I want you to be safe. And I'm sure you'll be okay. I'll tell the dryer that he's on your mind. <sighs> Thanks. And could you also pet him on his back every now and then? He likes that. Oh, running out of coins. Gotta go. Bye, Em. Take care. And here we are, I Moe's Diner. I'm a cheapskate for having dinner here. There aren't a lot of other restaurants Wow, around. he cleans up and nice. I'm pretty sure their food isn't better than Moe's. Don't worry about it, Robert. I love it here. Thanks, Meredith. You're such a kind person. Good evening, you two beautiful people. Ready to order? Ladies first. Hi, Maureen. It's hard to pass up a juicy T-bone steak. Excellent choice, Meredith. And what would you like to wash it down with? Hmm. I think I'll have a... glass of wine. Gotcha. Robert? The usual for me, Maureen. All right, Robert. T-bone steak and a beer. Doesn't get any more lumberjack than that. Be right back, folks. Ashley, get the steaks out! Maureen's the best. Did you hear about the open mic night she's organizing? Yeah. Are you going? I wish I could go, especially since I heard that Jack's going to do a thing. Jack? What's he going to do? Yeah, what the hell is Jack going to do? Give a lecture about potatoes? Believe it or not, he's a very good ballet dancer. Oh, Jesus, I got to see this. Jack? Really? <laughs> no. I wonder he if he's on comedy. point. Would have loved to peckled him. Oh, well, this is a good week anyhow. Because you're sitting here with me? Alrighty, here are your beverages, folks. I'm afraid the food might take a little longer, as a certain kitchen helper thought the freezer was a good place for storing steaks. Oh, I really should get one of those microwave ovens to defrost them. Sounds like a good steak. Is it the upcoming open mic? Why should I be stressed about that? It's going to be lovely. And you better be there, Robert Harris. Maureen, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, Robert. I'm afraid I won't be able to make it. I did not just hear you say that, young man. Oh, by the way, Meredith, I need to steal him for two minutes. He needs to check on some wiring for me. Excuse me, Meredith. This is Maureen's jurisdiction. You have to obey the law. Mmm, that tasted so good. Thanks, Maureen, for the fantastic blueberry pie. You're welcome. It's my way of making up for stealing you away from Meredith. Ooh, I swear. She can give quite the stink eye if she wants, can't you, hon? Oh boy, the world would be boring without her. Speaking of, are you going to miss your daily delivery round? Not at all. It depends on who's on the round. Oh, anyone in particular you don't like? It's not right to gossip. But Nancy Carlyle drains all the life energy out of me. I hear what you're saying. I also don't stick around for small talk at the store. Oh well, small towns, can't like everyone. Can't avoid them either. Do you think you'll always live here? Nothing's for sure, but I like it here. I needed to change towns after my divorce. Everything and everyone reminded me of her. And how are you now? Have you gotten over it? But maybe I shouldn't bother you with the innermost feelings of a lumberjack. Yeah, please don't, please don't. Maybe not. I mean, if you don't want to. Robert and Meredith, sorry to break up your conversation, but we're closing up early tonight. Gotta set up some stuff for the open mic night, and I can't use any peeping eyes. Oh, okay, Maureen. No problem. 
Let me get the check for you, so I can leave you two to your lovely evening. Can you put it on my tab, Maureen? Anything for you, darling. Do you mind if I pay? Or at least for half of it? Meredith, after all your help, this is the least I can do. So, yes, I mind. Now let's get going before Maureen gets her broom out. Meredith, thanks again. Ooh, they're talking in the rain. How romantic. You're welcome, Robert. I was happy to help you out. A little help goes a long way. Hope to see you around again. You too, Robert. Take care. Good luck with the apartments, and call me if you need help. Yep, we blew him off again. Because we know Angie's going to be there tomorrow night. Or is that tonight? What night is it? Sunday morning. When the hell is the open mic night? Did I miss it? Audit 87. Okay, so tonight's the open mic night. It's gonna be epic. Oh, there's Jack. Anyway, I love this town. You know I do. So I'm dedicating my last jokes. And Nancy with that death tonight. stare. The first ones for Maureen. Crazy a woman. Guy walks into a bar, and dozens of slabs of meat are hanging from the ceiling. So he asks the bartender, "What's up with the hanging meat up there, man?" So the bartender says. Ah, you're new here. Well, we like to play a game here. If you can jump up and slap a steak, the house will pay for your drinks all night. However, if you miss, you have to pay everyone else's bar tab. So, want to give it a go? Nah, says the man. <laughs> Those steaks are too high. <laughs> this one. Married twice. So, a that woman's was driving down the freeway. But all of a sudden, she hears a local news bulletin warning drivers on the very freeway she's on. They're saying, please be advised of this very dangerous situation of a car going the wrong way. So the woman says to herself, what car? <laughs> Why, there's dozens. You're killing well, it, Jack. folks, wasn't that special? Now, let me know if any of you have any jokes about Jack, you hear? It's an open mic after all. It's actually time for a little break right now. So come on up to the bar for some of our finest concessions. We'll continue shortly. Miss Jenkins, how are you? And how are the cats? Fine on both counts, dear. Thank you for asking. So, do you like the hair? Oh yeah, your hair's beautiful. Love it. That hairdresser did a great job. Thank you, dear. Pity it's quite the waste of time and money, seeing as how I can't stay for long. That's too bad. You see, my son decided to drop by unannounced. Oh no. Staying the whole weekend. That's terrible. Oof, that's quite the imposition. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, anyway, take care, dear. Now, where did he park the car? Yes, it's me, Matt Kearney, in an egg brace. Real funny, huh? I must admit, it, it's at least a little funny. What happened? Well, I was about to send the final boss, the afterlife, but then the computer crashed. <laughs> I kicked my foot out in anger and fell from my chair, and now I'm here looking like a loser. You are a loser, dude. Oh, poor you. I hope you'll be okay again soon. I hope so. I can't even use my computer right now. Aww. Guess who? <gasps> Jack Burton? <laughs> you know what old now Jack I'm always says in a time like this? It's just me. Even better. Though I never would have guessed. So, what have I missed? 
Well, Matt Kearney's condition is worth a mention. But the final act is supposed to be the real showstopper. At least, that's what Maureen tells me. Really? Well then, I guess I arrived just in time. So, how have you been? Thanks for the note. It was very sweet. I meant every word, babe. So, have you... Hey Angie, hey Meredith. Sorry to pop in like this, but I just wanted to inform you I fixed everything on the RV. She's got a new radio, I replaced some wiring, adjusted windshield wiper speed. The raccoon is ready to go. <laughs> That's great, Lori. Thanks. I'm sure it's like she's brand new. Well, I wouldn't say that, but you'll see. Gotta go later. An RV, huh? Oh, it's kind of a long story. You know Mickey and June? Yes, I do. The hiker couple, right? Well, long story short, I've somehow gained possession of their vehicle of choice, which, as Miss Young just described, is a perfectly adequate RV that I'm going to use to motor right out of this sad little town. Nice. So you're definitely leaving? Absolutely. Come with me. I mean it. Leave this sad old town behind and go wherever we want to go. Free spirits, the way Mickey and June intended. Do it. Well, you are a good kisser. Hmm. There's plenty more where that came from. But at some point, you've got to give me a definite answer. You get that, right? Look alive, folks. It's time oh, for the come on. Act. It's a doozy. <laughs> <laughs> Saved by the bell, babe. I got stuff to do anyway. Angie, wait! Dear people, none other than our own Kay Evans will perform next. She has been writing songs since she was a little girl. And I cannot say how thrilled I am to host her first performance of hopefully many to come. I am so proud of you, honey. Please put your hands together for Kay, everyone. Okay, here goes nothing. Come on, Kay. It's a small town. You know everybody in there. You got this. And on and on. That's how it usually works. You could turn back too. These choices make me smile. What if I just enjoy the ride? Life's a game of chance for every break you get. You leave another one behind. Just as long as you keep trying, you will get there. Very good, Kay. Nailed it. Darling, this does not happen a lot, but you have left me speechless. That was Kay, people. Another round of applause. Well, it's a good thing I didn't leave when Reynolds started his nonsense. This kid can sing. Oh, hi, Mr. Mackey. Didn't expect you here. Yeah, it's good to see someone flourish, but I'd rather be home right now. <laughs> I don't blame you. Smoking a pipe and reading a proper book is the only like the old man in the sea. Spend a Sunday evening in September. What else would this guy read? Bert, thank you so much for coming. I know you'd rather be somewhere else right now. Yeah. That's okay, kid. I don't regret it one bit. You did great. But ladies, if you'll excuse me, I'm out of here. Good night, Bert. And he walks Thanks off again. into the distance, and never now to be seen again. For an announcement. I'm serious, so hush now. Now, 
You all know that Kay has been working here at the diner for quite a while now. In fact, she was my anchor after Stan left us. And I think the time has come to formally announce right here that I will put your name above the door of this place, honey, where it belongs. Kay's place. Mo Kay's. We haven't settled on a name yet, but there you go. Another round of applause. And have some drinks with us. Kay's place, huh? Congratulations. That was quite a surprise. Yeah, I told you. Mo asked me like a gazillion times, right? Kind of felt right this time. We haven't hashed out any details, as you might have noticed. <laughs> but it feels good, you know? I bet it does. I have to hand it to you. You were great. I have to go in a bit, but let me know when the next gig is, yeah? You're not leaving already, are you? Yes, right now. Starting. I gotta go oh, chase wait. Angie. Of course. Big day tomorrow, right? You know what you're going to do? Honestly? Well... Wait, I'm not good at this stuff, so... I just want to say... It was good to have you back these past weeks, and Really good. You just do what you feel you have to do. I'm just glad we reconnected. We're gonna do it. Promise you'll keep in touch? No. Whatever the outcome, yeah? No. I'll do my best. Remember, that means no. Time marches, marches on. on. And I'll never <laughs> talk to you again. See you, Kay. Never again. Thanks. For everything. Goodbye. Aw. Never to meet again. My lovely people! The time has come for the open mic part of the evening to end. Ashley was going to do a ventriloquist bit. <laughs> but I just heard he hurt his hand back in his cabin. Let me thank you again for joining us. And there's plenty of food and drink to go around. Was that it? No. I sure do hope they're keeping things proper in there while I'm taking a breather. So, you had fun? Not really. It was okay. You sound a bit pensive, darling. I had a great evening. Thanks, Maureen. I think I'm gonna go hit the hay. Early start. Something on your mind, hon? No, I'm fine, honestly. Big day tomorrow is all. How did things end up with What's Kay? the big day? Did I miss something? I don't know what you the fuck is going on. Own, of course. It's just but that girl is like a daughter to me. We talked, yeah. I think we're different people now, but I'll try to stay in touch every now and then. Which means <laughs> never. Listen, you're two grown women, and if that's the choice you two ended up on, I can only respect that. Speaking of choices, You've got a big day in the morning, don't you? Know what you're gonna do yet? Stick around? Move back? I think I have a feeling. Yeah. Then you go follow that feeling, hon. Thanks, Maureen. I best get back inside. You take care now, Meredith Weiss. Take care, Maureen. Monday. Am I gonna turn in all my shit? Good morning, Meredith. Guess so. I can't believe the weekend I had. Did you win? Saturday, I placed a bet on the White Sox, just like you said, and lost. <laughs> but they played again yesterday, and I let it ride. And then they won. They're playing again tonight, and now I don't know what to do anymore. Well, Frank. You got a gambling problem, obvious. guy. You're a gambling addict beyond salvation. There you go. <laughs> Meredith, I guess you're right, and I guess I don't mind. Speaking of gambling, I bet you're taking the job, and that's not just because you're wearing your coat. I love the coat, Frank. But no, I'm taking it off. I'm leaving Providence Oaks again. Oh, that's not what I was hoping to hear, Meredith. But I understand. What are you going to do? Chase my dreams. Well, actually, I'm, uh... A van? So you're staying in the delivery business? No, wait. That's an RV. There you go. Yep. I'm getting on it, and I'm not sure where I'll stop. Nice. 
So, I guess this is goodbye. I'm gonna miss you, Frank. Thanks for everything. Try goodbye, to stay Frank. Trouble, okay? Don't worry, Meredith. I'll be fine. Thanks for everything. Take care and drive safe. And the V-Bell is not in great shape, but it should last you another month or three. The raccoon in all of her glory. Do you like her? Meredith and I named her. She's pretty amazing, Lori. Cute name, too. Thanks for doing this for me. <laughs> You're very welcome. I thought you really wanted to have the RV, Lori. I wanted to work on her really badly. But now that she doesn't need any more work, Angie can at least drive her around. Since I don't have a license, and I'm not old enough to get one anyway. I'll keep you up to date on all our adventures, promise. It'll be like you're right there with us. I'm counting on it. Have fun on the road, Miss W. Thank you, Lori. Will you be back? Never. <sighs> Unlikely. The small town life isn't for me. Okay, well if you ever find yourself here again, come and say hi. Sure thing. You got it. I'd like that. See you around, Lori. Magnificent, isn't she? Yeah, she certainly knows a lot about cars for a kid her age. No, I meant the RV. <laughs> I meant the <laughs> RV. But sure, Lori's great too. So, you all packed? Sure am. The big stuff's in storage. But I've got the bare necessities. Clothes, toiletries, and a whole bunch of videotapes. So, where are we going first? <laughs> yeah, about that. Hmm? Uh-oh. What should we do? I've grown quite fond of you, Angie. Hadn't you noticed? And here I was wondering if it was just my imagination. The feeling's mutual, babe. I'm in the driver's seat, by the way. I've heard about your driving. Yeah, it what? sucks. What have you heard? From who? People talk. When advertising exec David Howard, parentheses Albert Brooks, is passed over for a promotion and subsequently fired, he decides to change his whole life. He convinces his wife Linda, parentheses Monica Johnson, to sell their house and roam the country easy rider style in a Winnebago. I saw that movie. Okay, forget this one. That's just not going to be relatable at all. Yeah, right. That was a good movie. <laughs> nope. We've got nothing in common with those guys. I have another flick where a bunch of academics set up a ghost hunting business in an old fire station. Classic. That should be way more accessible. Angie Eastman, have you seen every single tape in here? Yeah. Not all of them, but most. Come on. But I don't mind watching them again. In fact, I'd love to see them with someone who... Knows nothing about movies? Yes. I was going to put it a little nicer than that. Someone who has unspoilt virgin eyes. Virgin eyes? What are you, a poet now? <laughs> All right, well, Lost in America will unspool before these virgin eyes soon enough. That's a classic. Tell me about Stand By Me. Oh, come on, are you kidding me? Four kids from Oregon, right? How do you not know that movie? Sorry for button in, folks, but I've got a special treat for y'all. I just updated my playlist. This new song is from our very own Kay Evans. Whoa, Kay Evans made the radio in Providence Oaks. Well, I guess that was Lake. We kind of steered the story in the direction we wanted and ended up with Angie. So that's exciting. Um... I don't know if we should uh, play this again and go after the lumberjack. Maybe we should. I don't know. But either way, this was a pretty cool game.
Well, if you made it to the end of the credits, thanks for watching. I hope you liked the game, and we'll see you next time. Bye.